What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here. Welcome back to another episode of PS4 Jailbreak Tutorials. This is a series that shows you how to take full advantage of your jailbroken PS4. And if you haven't watched any of the previous episodes, check them out. There's a playlist link down in the video description and in the cards in the top right hand corner. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to unlock your trophies using the Trophy Unlocker by the Dark Programmer. Now there's there's another program to unlock trophies as well. It's uh, also by the Dark Programmer called uh, the PS4 tools, but it only really unlocks them in the database so that they appear as though they're unlocked, but they're not actually properly unlocked on the console, on your account. So we're going to do it the proper way here using the trophy unlocker, even though it is uh, a little bit of a longer process. And I'll also show you guys how to fix the timestamps as well, because when you unlock the trophies using this tool, uh, there is no timestamp of when you actually unlocked it. So there is a little script that fixes that in the database as well. So I'll show you guys that here in this video. Now I did cover unlocking trophies in a previous video not too long ago, but that was the early version of the trophy unlocker, which had a lot of extra steps that have now been eliminated in, in the newer versions. So it's nowhere near as difficult and as ridiculous as it used to be to unlock the trophies on your account. So let's get into this. So the first thing you need to do to unlock your trophies is we're going to need to use FTP on the PS4, which means you need to be connected to, to your network on your PS4, and then you can head on to your internet browser, load up your exploit host, whichever one you're using. Once again, still using caro218.ir right now, uh, but obviously there's Night King's host and uh, the Wolf Games host and PRB's host and all the other ones uh, that you can go to to run the jailbreak from. So we're going to load up our exploit here. This is just running the WebKit exploit. Once the WebKit exploit loads up successfully, we can then run the latest jailbreak. And once that loads up successfully, we can then go ahead and run you know, either Gold Hen or Mira. Now, as of recording this, the current version of the Trophy Unlocker, which is 1.3, uh, only allows you to connect on FTP if you have port 1337 open for your for FTP essentially. If FTP is running on port 1337 it will work but if it's running on port 2121 which is what the FTP server built into Gold Hen uses then it will not connect um, or if you're trying to use the FTP built into the PS4 Explorer app which uses port 21 it won't work either. It will only work on FTPs that use port 1337 so you can run the general FTP payload down here. Obviously run Mira first or Gold Hen first just to be able to run the jailbreak and you know run your debug settings, run your fake package files. You'll need to run that first. Then you can either run the FTP payload to get the normal FTP on 1337 or you can run this homebrew app Orbis FTP which also runs an FTP server on your PS4. So when you run that it will run it but it also runs it on port 1337. Now um, by the time you're watching this video, the Dark Programmer may have released version 1.4 in which he said he would actually fix that issue so you can just type in the port number and then it doesn't matter which FTP server you use. Any FTP server will work. You just put the port number in manually on the tool. Um, but for 1.3, it has to be an FTP on port 1337. So anyway, once you have an FTP server running on port 1337, we can go ahead and switch over to our computer. And on the computer, you're gonna download the latest version of the Trophy Unlocker, whichever one that is. Download it right here, I'll have it linked in the description, as well as the Trophy Timestamp Fixer to fix the timestamps. You wanna just download the EXC right here. And you'll also, for that to work, you need Python installed as well. So make sure you have Python version three installed uh, in order to be able to run the Timestamp Fixer. And it's just a basic setup installer, download it, click next a bunch of times and finish, and then you'll have Python installed. So once you have that, you are good to go. So we'll open up the Trophy Unlocker zip file. We'll create a new folder here called Unlocker. And we'll just go ahead and select all of the files and dump them into that folder. Then we're going to run the Unlocker and run the Unlocker here. So when you run the Unlocker, you'll get the PS4 FTP. So you just want to enter the IP address of your PS4 here, the same IP address that pops up in the message box in the little notification uh, when you run your FTP payload or FTP app. So we're going to go ahead and type that IP address in. 
And of course, if you're using a newer version, you may also have a box to enter the port number, in which case just enter the port number. Uh, it's either going to be 2121 if you're using Gold Hen, or it's going to be 21 if you're using the PS4 Explorer app, and it's going to be 1337 if you're using the any of the other FTP apps. So once you've got that entered, you can then click connect and that will download all the relevant data. And then as you can see, it gives you the different uh, games that are currently installed on your PS4. And what you're going to what this actually does is it doesn't unlock the trophies right here. What it does is it creates a homebrew app based on the trophy data for that game. And then you then run that homebrew app on your PS4, which is an unlocker app that then allows you to unlock all the trophies bit of a kind of weird way it works but that's just the way it works so um, all we're going to do is we're going to select a game like days gone or maybe i don't know ghost of tsushima and we'll go ahead and build an unlocker for ghost of tsushima so we just click build unlocker and we select an output location so i'll select my desktop so that creates the unlocker package there for a uh, ghost of tsushima and then i can delete the gp4 file once the package file is built and there it is so now that we have that we are pretty much good to go. Now, another thing you can do is you can actually create an unlocker app for a game that you don't even have installed on the PS4 yet. All you need to do in order to do that is have a package file. Uh, as you can see, I've got Skyrim here. Uh, so let's say I wanted to unlock trophies for Skyrim, even though I don't have Skyrim installed on my PS4 right now. Then all I have to do is go into the settings menu and change the application type from FTP to package and click save close and now I have the option to browse for a package file so I can browse for this uh, package file so I'll select Skyrim right here click open and it adds it in right here and then I can build an unlocker for Skyrim in the same way and there you go as you can see it builds the unlocker for Skyrim now one thing that's important when you're doing a package file like this is that you want to make sure that if you have any game updates as a package file then you want to pick that to build the unlocker from. Pick the update package file to build the unlocker from rather than the game package. So if I do this again, so as an example, I've got Fallout 4 here. If I wanted to build an unlocker for Fallout 4, I could just do the normal package file, the game package file, but I also have the update version 1.20 as well. So I would actually rather select the update to build the unlocker because the updates will have any additional trophies that were added in DLC uh, available to unlock. So if you just load the normal game in there and build the unlocker from that, it will not include any trophies for any DLC. Whereas if you include a new update, then it will also include any DLC up to that up, up to when that update was released in the actual uh, trophy unlocker. So you'll be able to unlock your trophies for your DLC as well as the base game as well. So just keep that in mind if, if you have any updates that you can build the trophy unlocker from instead. So now we have the unlocker files. All we need to do is put them on a USB drive. So make sure it's a USB drive that's formatted in XFAT or FAT32 format. And then you can go ahead and eject the drive and plug it into your PS4. Okay, so once you're on the PS4, as long as you're running Hen or Mira, you'll be able to go into the debug settings and go to Game Package Installer. And you can't install both of these packages at the same time. They conflict with each other. So we'll just install, um, let's do Skyrim first. So we'll select Skyrim and unlock all the trophies for Skyrim. Or just one or two, for example. So there we go. It's ready to use. So once it's ready to use, we can go back and we now have the unlocker for Skyrim available. So we can run this. And give it a few seconds. Press X button to start the unlocker. And there we go. So it gives you... A few different options. If you hit up and down on your D-pad, you'll be able to scroll through all the different trophies. It gives you uh, the status saying that, you know, these trophies are currently locked. It also gives you the title uh, of what the trophy is and the description of the trophy. So if you're only looking to unlock a specific trophy, then you can just, um, you know, scroll through and, you know, search up online what, what the name of the trophy is that you want to unlock and then just search for it here by scrolling through until you find it. So once we find a trophy we want to unlock, like this one right here, we just select X to unlock it. And there you go. The trophy is unlocked. It's as easy as that. Um, so yeah, up and down to select the trophy, X to unlock, circle to go back. 
And obviously there's also a unlock all option as well. If you hit the options button, it will start going through and unlocking all of the trophies. We won't do that just yet. Uh, another option is triangle will show the trophy list. So if you hit triangle, it will take you to the trophies. If you get this error message, it's probably because your account is activated. If you have an activated account, you'll have to click OK to this message and then go to view trophy information saved on PS4. And then it will actually take you to the trophies. So as you can see, if we scroll down here, we should have one available. There it is. War Hero unlocked, as you can see. So that one works absolutely fine. Uh, so let's go ahead and close the application here and try the other one. So if we delete this one and we go back to uh, settings and we go down to debug settings, game, package installer, and we will install the Ghost of Tsushima package file. Remember, this one was built uh, from the actual uh, data that was already installed on the PS4. Uh, whereas the Skyrim one, we don't even have Skyrim installed and we were able to unlock the trophies for it. Whereas with this one, we already have Ghost of Tsushima installed. So we built this one through FTP and uh, we'll go ahead and run it here. And as you can see, it, it works in exactly the same way for every game. So there's all the different trophies, all the ones that are locked. For some reason on this game, some of them don't show the title or description. I don't know that's some kind of bug or something, but um, you know, for whatever reason, certain ones are hidden um, and we are good to go. So if you want to unlock all the trophies, let's just do all the trophies for this one. We'll hit the options button. And when I hit the options button, it takes a few seconds because um, I don't know, I guess the command to unlock them all takes a while. But as you can see, the trophy, as you can see, the trophies start popping up one after the other once you've unlocked them all. If we hit triangle, that will take us out and we can go back and have a look at those trophies saved on PS4 and give it some time. There we go. As you can see, Ghost of Tsushima fully unlocked and it includes all any DLC as well. Um, I'm not sure if that is DLC actually, that could just be something that was already installed as part of it. I'm, I'm not 100% sure if that's DLC or not. Um, if it is, then great. It looks like it's some kind of add-on. Um, so yeah, I, I must have had a patch installed maybe and it's installed the updates. It's unlocked the trophies for the updates as well. Whereas if you just had the base game, it would only do uh, the base game trophies and none of the other ones. But as you can see, everything is unlocked right here. The only main issue obviously is the uh, timestamps. So as you can see, the timestamps have not been changed for any of these trophies. So what we need to do is fix the timestamps. So let me show you guys right now how you do that. So if we go back to right here, we can go ahead and close out of this now. Um, so one of the things is even though these notifications are still popping up, you can still close the application. It has unlocked all the trophies. It's just these notifications are delayed. So yeah, now we can switch back over to the computer and try and fix the timestamps. So to fix the timestamps, we're going to use this trophy timestamp fixer. Again, we need to have Python version 3 installed in order for this to work. And we also need to run our FTP again. I think mine's still running. So I'm going to go on to FileZilla and type in my IP address uh, of the PS4 into the host box. Enter my port number 1337, connect. And once we're connected, we're then going to go to the user folder. And then we're going to go to the home folder then select your profile folder. So each folder here represents a profile. So I'm just going to select the top one, which is my main profile. So I'm going to select that, then go into trophy folder, then go to DB, and then you have trophy local DB. So we're going to copy that over to our computer. And okay, good. It did not, did not end up on the other monitor. That's nice. Okay, so now that that's copied over, we can then run the trophy timestamp fixer. And click run and then select the DB, select the database. So I'm going to select the file, click open. And as you can see, when I select it, trophy local DB, you can see it fixes all of the rows right there. We can click close and that's it done. All you have to do is copy that back over. Although I would recommend making a backup of it. Uh, so let me just throw a backup here into a new folder, just in case it doesn't work. You want to have a backup you can restore in case it corrupts the database or something. It's unlikely, but it could happen. So we'll go ahead and throw the database file back on. And that should be it. So if we go back onto our PS4 now, as you can see, the trophies are still popping up. 
So if we go back into our trophies and we have a look at the trophy information saved on PS4, Ghost of Tsushima, as you can see, all the dates are now showing up. So we've got, uh, you know, 20 slash 8 2021. So everything is showing up correctly and the correct time of when it was unlocked. So yeah, that's essentially it. The only thing I'm not sure how to change right now are these screenshots uh, that show, uh, you know, what's, you know, what you were doing when you were unlocking the trophy. I'm pretty sure uh, that wouldn't really show up on other people's PS4s if they were viewing your um, your game anyway, uh, if they were comparing their trophies or whatever to yours. Obviously, this is offline because we can't even connect to PSN in the first place. But if you were to like update your PS4 sometime in the future to the latest firmware and somebody looked at your trophy, um, I'm not sure if it would actually show these screenshots or not. I don't think it does, but uh, I don't know. I could be wrong. It seems unlikely that it would show it. So yeah, anyway, that's basically it though. That is how you unlock trophies on a jailbroken PS4. Once you're done with the trophy apps, you can just delete them once you have your trophies unlocked and you are all good to go. So it's a bit kind of a convoluted set setup to unlock trophies, um, but generally it's a lot better than the older version of the same app, which required you to like dump your game and stuff like that, which was um, a bit overkill. Turns out that wasn't required, so these new updates make this a lot easier. You can build an unlocker app through FTP for, from games that are already installed on your PS4, or you can take a package file, a fake package file you download, and you can build a trophy unlocker for that and unlock those trophies on your PS4 without ever even having the game on your PS4 at all. So yeah, anyway, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll hopefully see you guys in the next video.